Last one in this little series here on. The back here, okay? So as I do this, I'm rotating my body around his body. My grip is getting a little bit looser each time, right? The first one, I opened up, I pulled my grip as deep as I could, right? My elbows as deep as I could, and I finished there. The second one, I'm not quite as deep, right? My hand's a little loose, there's space in here. So I have to take that away by chopping up and over. While I did that, I also rotated a little bit, getting off to the side. So he falls one way, I fall the other way, okay? The third one. All right. I get a hold of his collar, all right, boom, yep. I open it up, I get a grip, all right? I can't get any deeper. He's holding on to my wrist, yep, and I can't, I can't pull it through anymore. Fine, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna grab his knee, I'm gonna step my feet across his body and lay him down ever so gently. Okay, now again, I pull my elbows to my body and my shoulder blades together. Okay, my leg is not underneath him, it's behind his head. Okay, I don't want him laying on my leg, right? Elbows to my body, pull my shoulder blades together. Okay, bow and arrow choke. Cover, foam, he grips, I get one on one, get my grip. Now I can't get any deeper, not a big, not a big deal, okay? Find the knee, I step across. I rotate around his body, he falls down. Right, my elbow stayed deep, or stayed tight, sorry. If he grabs my elbow here and pulls it over his head, he's out, okay? Then I take his arm, but we're not, we'll talk about that later, right? So I gotta keep that elbow down, so when he starts grabbing at my elbow, he can't pull it over top of his head, right? So my elbows are down, I pull my shoulder blades together. And if you really need to, kick through his body with that extra foot. Extra foot, inside foot, sorry. One, two, three. Right.